It is finally here, the new update for the Illuvium Ascendant Arena, and it looks absolutely amazing. It looks like a new game mode to me. So we're gonna go over all the features, the updates, and the changes, so you're ready to jump into this new game mode. Let's get it going. Let's see what it's all about. First off, let's quickly read the introduction, because I think it's very well written. Rangers, we're excited to introduce a new patch that transforms the arena mode you've become deeply familiar with over the last year and a half. This update will fundamentally alter the gameplay with modifications ranging from Team Builder, Augments, Illuvials and beyond. While this is its first iteration and it may not achieve perfect balance, we're eager to release it to you and get our feedback, ensuring we're moving in the right direction with this mode while improving your gaming experience. Let's start with the simplified Team Builder. Basically, the gist of it is you're not gonna have any more augments that you're gonna bring into the team builder. Augments are gonna be distributed in game, but we're gonna talk about that right down here. So, what is the team builder all about now? You have 50 different cards. You can bring in 50 different things into your team builder. Previously, it was 28. So, we have some limitations. We have a maximum of seven suits, a maximum of seven weapons, and you have to bring a minimum of five stage one Illuvials. This has to do with the new feature Ascension, and we're gonna talk about this also a little bit down the line. And basically, yeah, what is it gonna look like? Maybe five suit, five weapons, and then 40 different Illuvials. And this opens the team building and the strategy to so much different compositions that we can play, because now you, you're gonna bring 40 Illuvials around that. And previously we brought like maybe 10, maybe 15. So this really will help with not playing so much mirror matches and it's gonna be absolutely amazing. I can't wait to try this out. Let's check out the augments. We've overhauled the augment system, introducing new ones and altering their effect within the game. Um, previously, the augments were underutilized and were not meeting their potential to enhance game diversity. We've decided to completely free all augments, both legendary and normal, meaning they're all gonna be able to be played for zero mastery points. And this means you'll still engage in legendary augment bidding phase during this the game at specific moments and now adjusted to occur ahead of rounds of three and six so before round three and before round six we're gonna get the legendary augment phase for normal augments three will be presented randomly at the start of every placement phase in the beginning of a round allowing you to pick one so basically every round starting with round two, you're gonna get three different augments, normal augments, that you, one, you can choose one of them. And they're not gonna have two options anymore. It's just gonna be 20% Omnivamp, that's it. Or 20 physical resistance or whatever it's gonna be. And yeah, also we have more augments right now, 53, and legendary augments have been buffed up to be 81 different ones. And that's gonna be sick. I can't wait for that. Team builder gets easier and the, the gameplay gets more diverse. So what else would you want? Uh, there also is going to be a tutorial now in the game, which is really exciting for beginners. Um, the tutorial guide is going to be tailored around six lessons covering everything from unit placement to explaining the hyper system and so on. If that is not enough, check out my YouTube channels. I'm doing daily guides about Illuvia Marina, basically. Next up, placement matches. With this patch, there has been placement matches introduced. New players now complete 10 placement matches before they get a ranked border. So you don't start at 750 ranking like you do now and then work your way up. You're gonna have 10 placement games and maybe if you go eight wins, two losses, you're gonna be placed in gold and start climbing from there. If you already have played 10 games, you're not gonna have those placement games. This is for new accounts. Then we have a bot, which is super cool. We're introducing bots in the Ascendant Arena. You now can play against them when queuing in casual mode. This version of the model is still very early and won't yet climb to rank one. Later on, maybe it will. The model will learn more and more with games as it becomes more proficient in this new mode. This is really cool. We're gonna see the AI evolve while we play against it. We'll be updating the model in future releases. It's already a good opponent for beginners to try the Ascendant mode with an easy opponent. Note, the current model is still learning the rules of the game. It might cheat from time to time. We'll see if you notice it. Well, let's see about that. I hope it's not gonna cheat too hard. That's gonna make some people rage. So we got a little rework to the hyper bonuses. Hyper bonuses scale as your units fill their hyperactive bars. So right now, 
you get a bonus once it's full. But now with the new system, if you got 10% hyper, you get 10% bonuses. And then once the effect is fully filled up, fully charged, the unit becomes hyperactive, gaining additional boost. Basically doubling the boost and gaining something else. We're gonna come to that in a second in the patch notes. So next up, synergy changes. Synergies have been adjusted. Composite units now contribute to both their composite class and affinity and also to the dominant ones. For example, placing an Axodon on the board increases water and tsunami synergies by one. So this is gonna change all the team compositions that we had before, because now, for example, yeah, this is the best example, Axodon will also give you water because it's water dominant plus tsunami. So we're gonna be able to activate way more synergies. And I think that's really nice because it, again, opens the strategy a lot. Then we have the power of ascension probably the most important or the most the biggest update in this patch um and it basically says players must now strategically strategically place stage one units before ascending them to stage two and eventually to stage three meaning you cannot just play a ramp fire you need to play a ramp fee first ascend it with those ascension tokens to a ramp fight and then ascend it again to a ramp fire You'll begin each match without any Ascension tokens, but will earn two tokens every subsequent round. If you choose not to use your tokens, one of them will carry over to the next round with a cap of three tokens at any given time. Moreover, a nuance in the token system allows for refunds. Recalling a Stage 3 unit gets you one Ascension unit. Recalling a Stage 2 unit doesn't give you anything in return. Um, and basically... What it is, you play a ramp fee round one, then round two you get two ascension tokens. You can use these ascension tokens on your ramp fee to evolve it into a ramp fight into a stage two. Then next round, or you can even do it twice because you get two tokens per round. And then you have a ramp fire if you ascended it two times. And then you can sell the ramp fire, get one token back. If you don't use your tokens, you will carry over one token to the next round where you get another two. So you're going to have a total of three, but three is the maximum. You cannot stack them up endlessly. And then we can read the conclusion as we release Arena 0.3.6. Our excitement to share these updates with you is matched only by our eagerness to hear your feedback. So everybody go in the Discord and let the development, let, just post in the Arena chat what you think about the new game mode. They want to hear this stuff. Be constructive, be respectful and everything, right? Don't go in there, uh, this fucking, you know, just just be respectful and constructive. That's, that's I think, a given in any feedback that you should give. Uh, this is more than just a patch, it's a collaborative effort to refine and better the gameplay experience. We're counting on your insights and reports to fine-tune these enhancements. Stay tuned for the official patch notes coming shortly after this blog, and that's what we're going to check out real quick right here. And first up, it's just a little bit of a recap what's going to happen and a little bit of detail. You can check this out yourself. The link is going to be down in the description. And yeah, we're going to talk about the Ascension tokens and so on the augments are reworked and augments cost now zero mastery points and hyper has been uh, reworked and we're gonna see the details of the hyper reworks in a second yeah here they are so fighters which is crazy they're so huge the bonuses fighter units gain scaling scaling attack speed up to 50 percent once so if you're for example at 99 percent hyper you have like 49 percent uh, attack speed once re once reaching full hyper it grants you another 50 percent so once you're fully hyper on a fighter unit you're gonna get 100 percent extra attack speed and 60 percent physical and energy piercing which is huge so hyper is gonna be super important from now on bulwarks uh scaling damage reduction 20 percent once they reach full hyper another 20 percent and 400 percent max uh 400 max health and this is kind of the style that goes through all of them uh, rogues crit amp up to 50% crit amp so your crits do extra damage and once you reach hyper it's gonna go up to a hundred crit amp and executing enemies below a 10% health threshold sign units gain omega power up to 100 when they're when they're full they get another hundred and they reduce uh, they refund 50% of energy cost when they cast an omega so a fully hyperactive sign unit is gonna get 200 omega power plus every time they cast they get 15% of mana back of energy back which is crazy and lastly the empaths giving up uh, they are giving a heal per second in a medium area around them up to 30 and once they reach hyper another 30 plus 40% healing efficiency so hyper is gonna be like 
five times more important. Then we're gonna go to the team builder rules, maximum of 28 cards, maximum uh, from 28 cards, a maximum of 50 cards now. We talked already, already about that. Uh, we have longer placement phases, 75 seconds. This is increased by five seconds with each round. We don't have an undo feature anymore for now. Probably that's gonna come back later on. And the hex size of units has been adjusted. So the stage one, two, and three will all have the same hex size which makes everything a little bit more clearer, I think. So coming to the changes, stage one links is gonna be utilized a lot now because you need the stage one links to actually transition into stage two, stage three, and so on. So the, we're gonna see a lot of stage one linkses and, the re, uh, and now they're gonna um, nerf its damage. It's gonna reduce its damage from 92 to 80, from 150 to 125. And I hope they also fix the bug where we do pure damage on auto attacks. Because I think it's only supposed to do pure damage on its ability. But right now it's also doing it on its auto attacks. That's why it's so broken. So let's see if that has been changed. Otherwise, Lynx is going to be dominating. Lynx is going to be there anyway because you want to probably... You have 40 Illuvials or something with you. So you're probably going to have a few Lynxes with you. Shoe build line, its range has been increased. So it doesn't have to walk up and actually can stay in the corner and shoot from there. Um, super important and yeah, it makes more sense overall. Inferno damage has been nerfed everybody. Aren't we happy? The percentage max health damage as pure damage has been nerfed from 3% to 2 on 2 Infernos and from 5% to 3% on 3 Infernos. I don't think we'll ever get 4 Inferno. Next up, Dust has received a huge nerf. So we're happy again, right? So right now the Omega Debuff it was staying permanently and now it's gonna just be temporarily as long as the blind duration is. That's also as long as the Omega power is reduced. So we're still countering casters and fighters, but only for 4 seconds on 2 dust, 5 seconds on 3 dust and 7 seconds on 4 dust and not indefinitely anymore. Which is really nice, right? That that's that was much needed. We're getting a little buff to the bloom, so maybe phosphorus is viable anymore. And basically, the bloom buff activation time is now reduced to six seconds. So every six seconds, you're gonna get a buff. I think right now it's health plus omega power. Um, I don't think this is gonna be enough to really push the phosphorus to be viable again because it's so bad at the moment. But we'll see. Also, wildfire gets a little buff. Uh, the percentage, ma percentage max energy damage is going to be increased from 175 to 200 on two wildfires and so on. Overall 25 and then on four wildfires you get 350. And that's it. That's all. I'm so excited to jump into this. I hope this helped you. That's it. That's all. I see you in the arena. I'm so excited. We got a new game and it looks really cool. I'm going to be streaming all day long, all week long. I'm going to do some beginner guides, some advanced guides and some expert guides just on the new game mode so everybody can get up to parse and we can keep bashing our hats in, in the arena. All right, that's it. I'm out. Peace.